that I wanted to let you in on a big mistake I made when I started to get into this guitar and have a bit of fun with it. Now, as you might know, I got this guitar for free um, a little while ago. Now, it was maybe a couple of weeks ago, and it was, you know, it was amazing. This guy, um, it was something that belonged to his son, and he wanted a shot of it, and it, in fact, in the test, which is up on my channel, um, I plugged this into the amplifier that I also got with it, and it didn't really work properly. This pickup was all a bit of a mess. It didn't, this didn't function at all. This one came on, it sounded okay, but this one, for whatever reason, it just wasn't happening. So I was really happy to save this guitar from the trash or worse, I managed to fix it up. But this is one of those don't do this at home kids kind of moments because I made a huge, huge mistake when I was putting this all back together and thinking about how I was gonna rewire all of this because I did various tests on this pickup to see whether it was working properly. I did some tests on this pickup. I used my multimeter, all that stuff. I went inside the back cavity as well, tested all that stuff out to see if there were any sort of major problems that I could figure out. And after doing all of that, it became pretty clear that there were a couple of dead spots within the guitar itself. The pot controlling this pickup and by the looks of it, the actual pickup itself after doing a few tests was not working. So it was a bit of a double whammy situation. So as you can see, these are non-original pickups. I bought some um, rather nice new um, covered humbuckers to put in this. And I kept some of this original hardware. As you can see, I've not put the knob saw back on yet. And I've kept the, the pick guard off because I actually rather, I, it's a beautiful guitar. So I've kept it like this. I've kept it for the time being like this. I'll probably put some new knobs on, but I'll probably keep the pick guard off because I really love this thing. So absolutely, it's a golden player. Really, really nice guitar. But, but this is where things went wrong. To make my life easier, I thought, well, you know, the wiring in here is fairly cheap. Um, I don't want to go crazy on this. I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours on doing this. And so I had the grand idea, which was really, really not very good at all, to just cut the wires and not desolder. So just a quick look at what I'm doing here. I've had to snip everything out. So the switch tip is going to come next. The old pickups are already out. I've got some new pickups. These are should be quite decent pickups. Don't do this if you're ever going to rewire a, um, a guitar. You can see I've just, this is one of the pickups and um, I just snipped it out. I just thought, right, okay, I'm gonna take some pictures. I will snip everything to make my life a lot easier. I will just snip it all, remove everything, and then I'll just be able to, you know, it'll be fine. I'll just, you know, connect everything back up in fact, all that means is you've got to kind of de-skin these wires, which is a pain in itself. This wire, for example, as well, is not just a single wire in this pickup. You may or may not know that, depending on your level of experience, but it, there's actually two wires in here that need to be separated. Now, that in itself is a bit of a pain, and one of the wires in here is incredibly, incredibly thin. So it's very, it's very, very easy to inadvertently chop or you know trim those by mistake. And you can end up going back and back and further and further down the wire before you realize what you've done to yourself. So um, my highly, uh, highly considered recommendation would be to, in fact, never snip these. Um, that's my personal point of view, having now done it, um, and just desolder from the back of the guitar. Desolder and then resolder your new parts in. I thought it was gonna be a simple thing because I bought a pre-wired, pretty cheap wiring harness to go into the back of this guitar. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna keep this simple for myself because I haven't got an awful lot of time to work on this one. I've got lots of other projects I'm working on and I just need to get it done. So um, I actually probably cost myself a bit more time because having to de-skin, having to um, tin each of these, having to figure out actually which ones went where, in fact, it was a bit more of a pain. I would say, in fact, start from scratch, do the desold drink, do it properly. Having said that, I think I've ended up with a guitar, which is pretty awesome, because these pickups are actually really nice. And after a couple of hours, to be fair, the, the soldering exercise, probably it ended up taking me a couple of hours, I suppose, um, of an evening. 
to sort out. I probably could have done a lot quicker if I'd just been just desoldered and actually hadn't tried to go a quick route with this one. I won't be doing that again. And it's actually a really nice guitar. So the, um, the yeah, this, it's a bit of a strange one though. I wanted to inform you about this as well because you can probably, you might be able to see on the camera, the, um, I'm not sure a lot of these parts are actually stock from the guitar in the first place. So I had some fun with this because you can see that's, maybe you can see the posts are silver and the actual bridge piece, um, bridge and tail piece here, they are gold, which is a bit odd. Um, the pickups were gold as well, but um, the ones available that I could find, they were silver, they work very well, they're really nice, they sound, they sound good, and I'll do a bit of a demo as well in a moment, you can hear those. I left the gold hardware at this end. It's got a little bit of tarnishing, um, all that gold, gold hardware has, but um, I think my other huge mistake would have been to try and sort of paint any of that or spray it or try to cover that tarnishing up you could end up with a real mess I reckon if you did that much better just to leave well alone um, and you know let the tarnishing do, do its thing gold does tarnishing it's like white guitars they go yellow so what you know it's part and parcel of the process so um, yeah no knobs on for the time being I've done a couple of little paint touch-ups I mean that was that had a bit of a knock on it so I've, I've covered that up so it looks nice now looks a lot better anyway and the guitar actually does work now. So yay, we have a working guitar that is actually a little bit of a beast. And I will just do a quick little bit of um, playing now so you can hear what it sounds like for your reference, for your pleasure, your delectation. And uh, my overall feeling on this guitar is, um, just to quickly run through, because I will tell you some specs of this thing too, because it is a nice guitar, it's a Westfield. It's probably a good, I would say, probably a good decade old at this point. Um, it's got um, a 40, 43 millimeter nut. It has, now I've done all the measurements. It has, um, at the first fret, it is 23 millimeters in terms of depth. And in terms of the depth of the 12th fret, that is 24 millimeters. So there's not a big variation, but it's overall a fairly chunky feeling neck. It's not a slim, it's not a super slim C or anything, um, but it is definitely a C neck. So it's a nicely rounded C neck, I would call this. And it weighs four kilograms, which is um, somewhere around about, I'm guessing I'll put the numbers up, but it's gotta be around about eight, sort of the high eight pounds, sort of and probably not close to nine pounds, I would say, in terms of weight. So it's not a light guitar. Um, and yeah, it plays very nicely. It's a good guitar, very pleased to have it. But yeah, um, I don't know, I cost myself a bit of time there in terms of um, the mistake I made with all of that wiring stuff. So I would highly recommend not doing something stupid like that. And I won't repeat, be repeating that anytime soon. So yeah, there you go. Here's a little bit of a demo and enjoy. First of all, I reckon we'll start with a uh, treble pickup. You can hear what that sounds like. very nice I think that's got a nice amount of clarity to that pickup actually both and we do a bit of um, we do a bit of the rhythm pickup so I think it sounds pretty decent I'm quite happy with it um, yeah, I'll probably be using this guitar a lot more, I, I would think. It's a fun guitar to play. Sounds decent. It's been restrung, obviously. I spent some time on that. I don't know if I'll tinker that much more with it. I probably, I, you know, I might. I might. I might sort of change some of the hardware. I'll probably get new knobs for this because the knobs, as they were, you might you might remember, it had, it had three knobs which were black, which I will show you. Um, it had three knobs like this that were black and it had one gold one um, so I mean it's not the first time I've seen that on a guitar um, where there are some knobs which are a bit different to any of the rest but in my opinion um, it'd be nice to kind of keep it consistent I'll probably end up sort of I reckon it might look nice gold with gold this guitar actually um, gold do you reckon that'll do any favours let me know in the comments what you reckon and yeah I'm going to have some fun with it and I reckon you'll see more of it on the channel so there you go I um, hope to see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and keep it real, people.